Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the multidimensional arrays. So actually, what is the multi multidimensional arrays? You can have a kind of multiple arrays in an array. So let's do that. So let's just go with the two dimensional arrays by now. I am just making the variable for them var and I'm writing here array one equal to or let me write the multi array and just go with it and then i need to write it by a very simple way the x and the y for example i'm writing here two and i'm writing here two again and i'm going here and i'm writing i n t and like that you know this is what we did already but here we're not gonna put the values we're gonna put the data and uh, we're gonna open it up by this way comma okay and in this way here first I'm adding the data like uh, I'm writing here 2 comma 5 and here I'm writing 5 comma 7 and I'm going down I'm gonna print it up then I'll tell you what is happening here print ln and I'm writing here multi array and saving it and absolutely I'm gonna go to the uh, the terminal and I'm testing this up and here okay go run and next go okay you can see that two five and five seven now what is happening here if I write something different here if I write uh, three here and save it now go here and I'm going here running it up so you can see that two five five seven and zero zero okay and if I write three here two and saving it and now going there and testing this up so two five zero five seven zero 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 okay this is actually about the quantity of each array inside this two dimensional arrays and this is about the arrays we're gonna add inside this array for example we want another one we can add a comma and we can put something like uh, I mean going here and I'm writing five seven or five nine or if you want more arrays here adding a comma I'm writing here 98 comma 91 saving and here I have to write it four but in the quantity inside each array managed by this one so we've added three here so we can add uh, three values at least I'm writing here seven and here adding in a space space is not necessary just to make it looking more awesome I'm adding that and uh, in the same direction I am adding 16 and here I'm adding 1001 saving it now I'm going here and testing this up again and there you can see the result 578 5710 5, 5, 9, 16, 98, 91 and 1001 so I think it is awesome we've got four data and uh, three data inside of each each array so this is how the multi-dimensional arrays works anyway if you want to call some data from anyone so I'm writing print ln and I'm writing multi array and uh, like that I'm writing for now it is simple which one you want to select this one this one this one or this one I'm, I'm selecting the third one so zero one two I'm calling two and which data I want to select from the number two I want to select number number one so I need to write zero like that and saving and now undefined multi array what is the problem man oh oh okay okay it should be multi and it should be multi too this this was a very simple problem anyway here I need to run that up and I'm gonna get the result it is five because you know number two zero one two and the zero number index zero is five if I write here index 2 so I'm gonna get the 16 as a result because index 2 is 16 the 16 is here and if I want to make some operations with it so like that let's just type first of all I need to add the plus here plus and here because oh this is the plus is not necessary I can have this one and here I'm writing now 0 1 2 3 three okay and from the three which one I want to select I want to select the one because index one which is zero number so I'm going here and I'm gonna see the result 
and it is one four five six okay that's awesome i think uh the multi-dimensional arrays are not a problem till yet anyways here there are a few ways to make a multi-dimensional array so let's do that multi array one or two and here first of all we do not need to mention it if we can use the same operator again but here for the each row i'm adding five and adding int just to show you that if you have the problem of quantity so we can use this operator this three period operator so here I'm writing 5 comma 9 comma 3 comma 1 comma 6 okay and adding another comma and going with it 7 comma 4 comma 2 comma 9 and uh, this has to be here okay one more thing uh, if i don't add no problem the zero will be automatically added so i'm not adding that in 98 some big values 78 65 108 comma 203 saving it and all i need is to call it now this is not necessary to have some specific quantity of the array data so i need to just go here and call the fmt.println and multi array to and saving it and going here and testing this up again so okay uh, you can see that there is a result five nine three one six seven four two nine and zero we've got the zero 98 78 uh 65 108 and 203 just wanted to show you that this way is also works here so it is awesome i guess one more thing how to update some data so this is also very simple now whichever array you want to select i'm selecting the multi array the first one and i want to update i want to update it's zero one two or three it's third ones one and the value i'm adding here is equal to one zero two okay now i'm simply printing the multi array i'm just cutting this off because i want this update right after the printing of the multi array and i'm printing it again just to show you how things works going here back in running this up and now you're gonna notice okay 256 578 nine one and uh, five nine sixteen ninety eight ninety one one zero zero one two fifty six five seven eight ten uh, 5, 9, 16, 98, 102. It was 91 above, but it is 102 and 1001. So we access the data, we updated the data. I think this is the easiest way to make the multidimensional arrays. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about something more. Till then, stay tuned.